Why God wants you to protect yourself from certain spirits? In the world we live today, there are so many spiritual activities that are going on. We live with so many spirits that we are unable to see. Some of these spirits for instance is the Holy Spirit, which is a spirit sent by God to be our comforter that will teach us all we need to know. However, there are some devilish spirits that are not sent by God. They are out there seeking to destroy the children of God. God wants you to protect yourself from spirit that does not come from you. You may think that spirits does not exist and you may not believe in them. But hear me, spirits do exist and whether you believe it or not, it will not change the fact that they do exist. It is very important to know that before a thing takes place in the physical, it has taken place in the spiritual. Sometimes certain things happen to us because of some forces in the spiritual that is why God wants you to be active in the spirit and be able to protect yourself from evil spirit. This is why the scripture says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and power. This is an eye opener that when you do not protect your soul from certain spirits, your life will be frustrated by the devil. As a child of God, you need to be sensitive in your spirits because sometimes the things that are going wrong in your life do not happen by accident. Some forces are behind it and you may end up blaming human beings for your misfortune not knowing that it is from the devil. Take the story of Job for instance. The devil went to God and they had a discussion and the devil asked for permission to torment the life of Job and we could see that due to the result of what happened in the spiritual, the life of Job was shattered in a day. It is same even the present age. Sometimes we may experience disappointment, delay, setback and we just conclude that God has forgotten about us or we are not meant to progress in life. But that is not all true. Some of these things you are going through is caused by the devil because he is like a roaring lion seeking for who to destroy. He will not stop frustrating your life until you learn how to protect yourself. If you do not fight, he will keep fighting you and your life will be a mess. God does not want you to oppress by the devil because he has already paid the price on the cross and he has given you dominion over all these things. You have the authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions. Therefore, it is an error for spirit to disturb your life and peace. Do you know that these spirits can live inside of you without you knowing? They come into your life and destroy your life. And when there is nothing left, they leave and look for new souls to destroy. God does not want you to experience this. That is why he wants you to protect yourself. The Bible tells us stories of people that were possessed by evil spirits. For instance, there was a time when Jesus was passing through and he saw a man living in the outskirts of where other men lived. Because of the spirits that lived in him, when he saw Jesus, the spirits begged that Jesus should not destroy them, rather he should throw them into the pigs. Another case was a man whose son was possessed by an evil spirit. No one was able to hold him down when the spirit started manifesting. The spirit challenged the disciples of Jesus by asking them who they are. Understand that when a spirit that is not from God lives in you, you will do all manner of despicable things and your life will be in ruins. Therefore, protecting yourself from some certain spirits is very crucial. But the question is, how can one protect himself or herself from some certain spirits? You have to be born again. If you do not have a good relationship with Jesus, the devil will control your life. It is not only God that can protect you from the certain spirits and he cannot help you if your life is not in alignment. Our God is holy and he cannot behold sin. Therefore, you need to flee from every form of sin. And if your life has been full of sin, it is time to make your ways right before God. He is faithful and just to forgive you all your sins and cleans you from all unrighteousness. He also said, though your sins are as black as charcoal, he will make them as white as snow. It does not matter what you have done, God will still forgive you. After being born again, you need to live a holy and righteous life. The problem is, after we have given our lives to Christ, we still go back doing those things we used to do in the past. When you do that, your relationship with God will be destroyed 
you will lose the protection of God for your life. I understand that living a holy life in this privileged generation is not easy, but with the help of Holy Spirit, you can live above sin. All you need to do is to determine in your heart that you will flee from every form of sin and ungodliness. Do not be found in places that may tempt you to sin against God. Joshua 1 talks about what we must do as the children of God. It says, we must not stand or sit in the place of sinners. And verse 8 said the book of law should not be depart from us, but we should meditate on it day and night so that we will be able to do it all that is in it. Being born again is one thing and staying born again is another thing. You must live for Christ. Do not neglect the assembly of believers so that you will be encouraged. When your ways are right before God, He will watch over you and shield you from every spirit that wants to destroy your life. Another way to protect yourself from certain spirits is knowing the Word of God. The Word of God is our weapon of warfare. How can you protect yourself when you do not have the Word of God in you? You cannot fight these forces with physical weapons. You need the Word of God because it is like two-edged swords. It is the greatest and only weapon if you must win. The Word of God has everything you need to live your life here on earth. This is because in the beginning was the Word and the Word was God. This means that when you have the Word, you have God. But in a situation where you do not have the Word, you do not have God. The problem of most Christians is that they lack the zeal in the things of God. And that is why the devil has been toiling with their lives the way he pleases. You need to understand that. If you must be able to protect yourself from certain spirits, you have to make conscious effort. It does not happen by coincidence or by luck. If you do not make deliberate efforts, your life will be playing ground for the devil and his agent. This is the time to be grounded in the word of God so that you will have what to fight the enemy with. You also need to be sensitive in the spirit so that you will be able to discern which is the spirit of God and which is not. Being sensitive means being able to speak and hear God when he speaks. If you have not yet figured out how God speaks to you, it will be difficult for you to tell when he is the one speaking. The truth is, spirits that are evil may speak to you and you may think it is the Holy Spirit. And if you cannot discern the spirit, you might be the victim of the evil spirit. That is why you have to be grounded in the word of God because whenever a spirit communicates with you, you have to check if it is the alignment with the word of God any spirit that says contrary to the word of God is not a spirit sent by God, but rather the devil. God has given you the power to overcome the forces of darkness. Everything you need to protect yourself is found in God's word. The scriptures talks about the weapon you need to win this battle. And it is equally very important that you pray without season. Always charge your spirit and edify your soul so that the enemy will not take you by surprise. There is saying, that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Prayer is the master key because even our Lord Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. If you must seek protection from God over certain spirits, then you need to seek the help and intervention of God. And the only way this will be possible is through prayers. It is all in Jesus. All that you need is found in Him.